Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a number of things. One of them is splitting text into columns, separate columns. That will be our first step. Then the next step will be how do we get the last word in this text? So let's get started using the split function. So to do that, I'm going to use this space here and say split. The text I'm going to split is that. The delimiter is what separates the things I'm going to split. Close brackets to like that. So what happens is these words are separated into separate columns. If I copy them, this down also separates this into separate columns. So text columns. This is how you can achieve that. Now, the next thing I want to do is the count f function. And all what the count it does, it just counts what you give it, the range of values you give it. For example, I can say count A. I want to count these splitted values. So I say split these values of A in A2, whose delimiter or separator is a space and give me the number. So this is what it gives me as the number. Now, assuming I want to extract the last value here, book and heavily, what I can do is use the index function, give it a reference, which is this one here, comma. And the next argument is the position of the last value that I want to extract, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this position can also be got by the count f method form function that I did earlier which is in cell C2. So I pick that, press enter, and there you go. And you can see it is easily extracting my last word here. If I come here and I add that, it doesn't work because when I gave it a reference, I stopped in this cell here. Okay, let's see why it's not working. It's number index three. See it stops on J. So this should be K for it to return that value. Now, after doing all this, I want to combine all these formulas into one and extract the last value here. So how am I going to achieve that? I'm going to use the index function, open brackets. I want the reference of the split here. So I'll say split this one here. I separator or delimiter is a space. So I close the split function, I want the position of the last item in this split here. So I copy this. So I'm going to say the position can be got by counting A. And what am I counting? Let me close the count. I'm counting what has been split. 
Then I close my index function. And when I do that, you can see I get the last word in this text. So I can delete all this and my it will remain working. If I add whatever I add here, will work accordingly. So this is how you can extract the last one using the count a function, split, and index functions. Assuming you say now, I want to get the second last word. The second last one is in position seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Position eight. So what we have to do, when we do the count, it will give us the full number of the words in this sentence. So if I want to get the position of the next one, second last, I'll say get the full number minus one. So all I have to do is say minus one, and I'll get the second last word, which I copied down, I get the second last word also. I, the third last word, you subtract two, and so forth. This has been helpful. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.